Hello, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel where we focus on using ordinary materials to make beautiful things. Today we are back with another episode of Motivational Monday. Yay! Um, so I am here to take a look at a quote, work in the glue book, maybe contemplate the quote a little bit. So I have my trusty, trusty glue book journal. Flip through here. That was last week, so it looks like this is where we are. And again, we have some stuff peeking through, but that's okay. The quote I've chosen for this week is, no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. And P.T. Barnum said that. Um, and so I thought that I would just um, maybe do a collage page with, um, you know, things that I like that it doesn't really uh, matter that other people like or don't like and frequently a lot of people don't like the same things I like. Um, I have very eclectic tastes and so people sometimes um, think I'm a little odd. So I thought I'd start with one of my favorite colors which is hot pink and uh, I want to write the quote on that and I, I brought this along I thought we'd put the quote over here and then collage this page uh, and I and I thought this was a good start because this is a good juxtaposition for me I like the bright colors around it I like the the dictionary page um, there's kind of this old paper feel to this um, paper I have actually dyed it um, and you can see a little bit where I used a stencil and so this is part of a, a page um, and it's kind of a scrap you can see there's some pencil mark on it and then that's sort of the juxtaposition with the brand new looking uh, grid sort of so I thought I would just go ahead and start by writing this we'd put that down and then I just, like I said, accumulated some stuff. I went through some magazines and just cut some things out uh, that were things that, that kind of spoke to me. So hopefully you'll kind of go through your stash or zip through a magazine maybe and cut out some stuff that, that um, you know, speaks to you. So I'm thinking we can do this in several lines here. Last time I got it a little big. So this time I want to make sure I contain it, which is part of the reason I started with this little circle so that I would keep it, you know, in a, you know, workable size here. Let's see, no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. So maybe no one ever, uh, no one ever made a difference, three, by being like for everyone else so maybe five lines Let's see if I can find the lines here this is about middle so a couple above here we'll start here again however you want to write it you can just write it down I'm not being too careful I'm just sort of you know, knocking this out. This is when I print, this is kind of how it looks. Um, you know, I can try to be neater, but <laughs> this is kind of just me. And today I think we're, I'm just kind of doing me because that's what this is all about. No one ever. Made a, I'm going to capitalize. difference because I like that one by being like everyone else yeah I like it no one ever made you know um and I think maybe we'll you know we could kind of give that edge a little bit of pink around it just by kind of coloring off of it here. It's got kind of a rough edge. I used um, I used some of those uh, deckle edge scissors to cut this circle 
from a scrap. And so you can see I didn't do a great job of cutting because you can see some of my uh, my lines there. You can see some of my, my little lines. So this will cover up some of those lines. Fix that problem. Remember our glue book is not about perfection. It's just about having some fun, contemplating a quote, thinking about every Monday. Oh, see, that looks better already. And then that's, oh my gosh, it went through. Oh, I didn't think it would. That's okay. Is it going to cover it up? It's going to cover it up. Yay. Okay. I didn't really think the marker would go through that paper. It's thicker paper. So, oh well. Case are all. We're not gonna see it anyway, it's gonna be all right. So let's go ahead and glue that down. Looks like I might've hit the end of the glue. I've got a magazine here to use as a, yep, I think that glue is dead. <laughs> and hum taps, but apparently I'm off key, so. <laughs> and luckily, we're not gonna see that pink. I didn't even think that would go through. Oh my gosh. Getting off to a rough start already. Oh, that's okay. All right, Oops, that's the one I said wasn't working. So that's a good use for old magazines. If you have an old magazine, um, you can use it as a base for your gluing so that you don't get your glue on something else. And then you can just tear out the page, fold it in half, and then you can use this half, and then you, know, you can flip it and use the other half. You can turn it round and round and round until you've used up all the spots. No one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. I really like that. I am frequently told that I'm marched to the beat of my own drummer, and that's okay. So I was going through some magazines, like I said, and, and I found some stuff uh, that I really liked. Like, I, I love this. This was on a wall, and, you know, so I thought that was cool. This is a piece of, of wallpaper that I painted. I don't know if we want a top and a bottom. It's gonna, I don't wanna cover up totally that book page. So maybe, maybe just a little piece at the top. Maybe the one that's a little more orange. Yeah, I like that because I like the bright color and the kind of design kind of with this yellow and this is kind of yellowy and orangey so it marries that and it kind of goes back to this so I'm going to stick that down before I overthink it. I just keep reaching for that one that's that's uh, gone. So you can see this came from a magazine. Do you subscribe to very many magazines? I, I don't feel like people subscribe to magazines much anymore. We get, uh, every now and then, we get offers for free magazines because of some, you know, points we have for this or that, or, you know, your credit card is offering you know, free, free magazines, pick, you know, pick three or something. Um, and so that's where I get mine usually. I do occasionally buy them, but the ones I buy tend to be uh, art related, whereas the ones that are free are never art related. They're usually fashion or they can they can be like Better Homes and Gardens, things like that. Um, you know, I see those too and I get, sometimes I choose those. Um, but the fashion magazines are, are kind of fun, actually. I am, I am not, 
I am not a big, you know, fashion person. Um, I am, I am not really built for fashion. <laughs> I'm not built for high heels, and I don't wear them. And and uh, you know, I, I'm just not built for that. Uh, but I definitely have my own sense of style. I like bright colors. Um, you can see from the sweater I'm wearing this upside down because of the sleeves, but there. are there are funky cats all over my sweater. Um, so I like bright colors and fun patterns and very boho kind of stuff. So it's fun to look through those. So I brought, I, I just cut out um, a bunch of pictures. So these are some small, some little ones that we'll use to fill in. Uh, I love this. This is one of the ones I cut out um, that was part of, you can see it's part of the bigger picture. But I don't want the whole thing because it's too much for the page. But I love this house. So that's definitely uh, my style with all the gingerbread and stuff. I've never lived any place like that. But I think it would be really cool to live someplace like that. Let's see how close to the edge are we going to be able to get that. I guess if I turn it over, I can probably get it right up to the edge. Ha! Oh, that would be good. Um, and I love the color on this. This kind of minty green i think that would be fun it'd be fun to live in a colorful house like that and you know some old vintage house but that doesn't mean i want everything old on the inside i i do like antiques but i like the juxtaposition of antiques and more modern things so i like i like old silver and chandeliers next to like really modern sofas and stuff like that um, i think I think that juxtaposition is fun. So, just trying to get that right up to the edge. Oh, that worked really well. Um, so, I, I like that juxtaposition. You know, and I think this, this is cute. There's a lot of plants and a garden. Looks like there's a little greenhouse off to the side. I could never, you know, have that many plants in a garden and stuff because I don't have a green thumb and I am very bad at gardening. And I love to look at gardens, but... I don't like to get my hands dirty with, you know, I say that and sitting here and it's like I always have ink and stuff on them. Okay, let me rephrase. I don't like to get my hands in dirt, in mud. <laughs> I don't mind glue and ink and stuff, but. Um, so the other thing I found too for one of the larger pictures, and there's a couple of them here, was a cat. And this came from a calendar. And I think cats are excellent at you know, not caring what you think about them, that, you know, that they're not like everyone else. Um, they are, they are unapologetically themselves. So I think that would go really well there. And then I love this. I love the riot of colors in this. I don't know that I would want to live with, with this much, um, this much of a riot of color all the time. I mean, I think it'd be good in a room that had a lot less color around it, you know, but I love this. I think this is, I think this is cool and I think it's not like what anybody else has. So I thought that was a, a good choice for today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw those down and I'm gonna let the kitty cat be over the top there, I think. Magazines are a fun place to find pictures and you know, especially because you can cut out pieces of them. Like this was part of a bigger layout, and I wasn't I wasn't thrall in you know enthralled with the rest of it. But I really liked this little this little corner of a room. You know, it's fun too if you're thinking about uh, redecorating. They tell you you should they you know I don't know who they are um, decorators and and designers and stuff tell you that you should um you know make make a book of things that speak to you so that you know you can you can show it to your designer i i could never afford a designer uh, but yeah that's nice it separates the two huh um but i do find it useful if I am thinking about repainting a room or redecorating 
uh, it is very useful to me to go through magazines and cut out things that I like and put them in just like a, a notebook. I just glue them on notebook paper on separate pages to, to see what I like um, because it kind of helps me see a pattern um, where things might look like they're kind of disparate and they're not really there's there's something about them that they have in common sometimes it's the color sometimes it's a style sometimes it's just the feeling of something like that this is one of my favorite things I, I have done just as you know not that it's high art or anything that I made, but just that I, I made it as a base um, for to go around a bulletin board, actually. I just I just took this piece of wallpaper I had and cut it in strips and you know painted it and used it as a bulletin board trim. So well, that could have come down a little bit more, couldn't it? I guess I could put a little more on there. Yeah, it doesn't matter because that piece is gone. So let's glue our kitty cat down. Some days I'm much more decisive than others. You know, some days I'm I'm thinking, yep, I can I can glue that and and I'll be good and we can just truck right along. And that's kind of how I'm feeling today. But. Last Monday, I was struggling. <laughs> this Monday, things seem to be going well, so. It's amazing how a different day can just make you feel so different. But I am feeling like, like it's okay to be different today. No one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. So those are the big things that I have. And then I have some little things that I cut out too that I thought I'd just kind of put over. And this is fun, I have to show you these shoes. Okay, these shoes, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put them on here so you can see them better. These shoes, now, they're Prada shoes. I, I saw them in an ad and they're like $1,100, A, I would never pay $1,100 for a pair of shoes. B, I would never wear these because they're really high heels and I don't wear high heels. But that said, oh my gosh, look at the flames coming off of them. It's like, these are like shoes the Flash would wear if the Flash wore high heels. I mean, I, I just can't. I just can't tell you how much I love these shoes. They are so much fun. I would never wear them but they are so much fun. So I thought I would have to add them somewhere and I'm, I'm thinking maybe down here with the kitty cat, but, or over here, I don't know. I don't know. I have, I have several small things to show you like that that I found that are very me. So I found this little, these little two, they're earrings. And I'm sure they're expensive because I'm sure they're jewels and something, you know, they're they're out of a fashion magazine. So we, we know they're probably way more expensive than they're actually worth. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they're worth. Don't, you know, don't quote me on that. But I love the color. I love that they're flowers. Um, I love that they're bold and big. Uh, and that's the kind of earrings I like. I am, I, I will admit it, I'm a jewelry hound and I like really cool earrings. That's That's the one thing I really love. Um, I struggle with wearing rings because of my arthritis. It's my fingers change size and it's trouble. But earrings, now those, you can always wear. So I'm thinking they look like something the kitty cat might be playing with. So I'm thinking I'm going to put those in the kitty paw. And then there's these cat eye glasses too. And these really cool little pink tennis shoes. Now see, this is much more my style of shoe. I'm built for comfort, not for speed. So, you know, so maybe that'll go there. And this one will go over here somewhere. I want to, I really love this. It has to go on here somewhere. And I'm, and I'm loving the orange. I wonder if it should go over here with the, maybe it should go over there. <laughs> 
I don't know. We'll leave it over there for now. Uh, and then there's this other one. Here's another one. There's a bright yellow tennis shoes and this really soft, soft pink bag. So maybe those will go down there with the pink. We'll just we'll just let the kitty cat, since he's got pink ears and a pink nose, we'll, we'll give him the cat eye glasses and almost like a bow tie. We'll give him the cat eye glasses. Hmm, which way? Yeah, I like that maybe. We'll give him the glasses and the shoes and all of the pink there. I I'm thinking that might have to go over here. It's just it's just fun in that bright orange. And it looks like it goes over there anyway. So okay. We're just moving right along with this. I hope that you have found a notebook of some kind. Uh if you have a, a journal that you've built, that's fine. You know, if you have um a calendar from last year, uh, a, like a desk calendar that you flip through that, you know, I always, I have those calendars and they're pretty and I always hate at the end of the year, oh my gosh, I just tore my glasses. At the end of the year, I hate, I have to throw it away and it makes me sad. So, you know, so don't throw it away. Use that as, as your glue book. Oh, <laughs> Okay. There's part of the problem with using magazines is they tear easily. I don't know if we can get that straight, but that one's down. So I guess we're just gonna let it be cockeyed because it's down. There's nothing we can do about it. How sad. Oh well. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess of this today. Okay. Um, but yeah, so like for example, let me show you, I have a calendar. I have this calendar from last year and I love the cover on it. Um, and I went through and tore out calendar pages and made it into a notebook. I, I re-glued pages and I use it for a place to keep some ideas and, and hashtags and things like that. So I, I couldn't stand to throw it away. But if I had left the calendar pages in it, it would have been a really great glue book base. So that would have been a good thing to use. And then, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to go buy something use use something you have use an old an old notebook if you have um, an old notebook that you've written in that you don't need anymore um, you know use that hi kid come here sweetie <laughs> she says I want to I want to do this come here sweetie come here doll oh goodness okay down you go there you go that's Kid E Cat, like Wild E Coyote, super genius. So do we need do we need both of those? Come on, sweetie. Nope, I don't think we need both. I think we just need one. I just I'm just in love with these shoes. I just can't think. <laughs> They're so much fun. It's too bad they don't make tennis shoes, you know, with that. They probably do. They, somebody probably has tennis shoes that look like that somewhere. But definitely looks like something the Flash would wear, I think. So we'll put it there. So those flames are off there. Let's see, I got a couple other things here too. I thought this was cool because I really liked that the the two women have have hair colors that I don't know. I, I think the page is done. Um I I really think I just like it the way it is. And that this is a, a good indication for me of no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else because this is just kind of an eclectic mix of things I like. So I hope you've had a good time with me. I hope you have a glue book that you're gluing along. If you're not using my quotes, I hope you have some other quotes or I hope you're just putting things in that make you happy. 
Um, until next time, remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Thanks for joining me. Bye.